Hello! Tonight I would like to start with a story. I was playing a comfy game in which I spotted a grasshopper and caught it. But it said I caught a locust. I didn't know what it was, really. Well, now I decided to look into it. And it turns out you can add even more names into the mix. So, what is the difference between grasshoppers, locusts, crickets and kittybids? First, I'll say it's normal to confuse them. They're all orthopterans after all. But the crazy thing is, locusts are actually grasshoppers. Let me explain. Grasshoppers normally live alone and they don't fly much since their wings are so small. They tend to stay on the ground a lot. They can jump pretty high though. But when the conditions are right, they band together near pockets of vegetation. The young produce extra serotonin which makes them grow up differently. When they reach adulthood, their bodies are smaller and their wings longer. Yes, they are now locusts. They fly in great swarms and can do quite a number on crops. Crazy to think one species can have two very different sides. But what about the other families, namely crickets and katydids? First of all, if you see a bug like that, look at its antennas. If they look fairly short, that's a grasshopper. Oh, and it would be diurnal too. Both crickets and katydids tend to be nocturnal, but they have other physical differences. Katydids hind legs are usually longer and their wings are at an angle, unlike crickets wings which are flat, horizontal. Also, crickets tend to have longer cerci, those little spikies on the butt. You can also tell all those bugs apart from the sounds they make. This is a little beyond my scope though, so if you're interested I encourage you to look up cricket songs and so on. Anyway, this video wasn't so much about learning what an orthopteran is, but rather how to tell them apart. So I think I've said enough. Thank you as always and have a good night.